The A's are not good, though their 200 winning percentage shows they've at least won a few games. Half a dozen, in fact, at the beginning of May. But I did see one of these wins over the weekend, so they do exist. And of course, being at the Coliseum over the weekend means I was at the first home series after the Las Vegas news. That was not planned, because I don't really plan my vacations around the best opportunity to openly sob. I don't want to ball a day. I also wanted to see Stomper, not Whimper. This optimistic age report will be a bit different, because I won't be talking about stats. And that's not because all the stats are absolutely terrible, because they definitely aren't. It will be about the multi-tiered experience of rooting for the A's and going to the Coliseum right now. Like most civilized people, when I first heard the Las Vegas news, I immediately hoped John Fisher would develop a lifelong severe case of lactose intolerance so he could never again enjoy a cheesecake without immense pain. I also wish Dave Cavill would spend the rest of his life fruitlessly searching for a Trader Joe's parking space. Then I thought of the most beautiful piece of architecture that seamlessly blends into its own wildlife-rich ecosystem, the Oakland Coliseum and the friends to possums, feral cats, and seagulls who congregate there, otherwise known as the best fans in baseball. Those wonderful fans-slash-wildlife advocates were at the Coliseum when I went over the weekend, so it was impossible to be too sad, unless we looked at the scoreboard or the ERA of the incoming pitcher. But I think we've all silently agreed that those things just don't exist this year. There is no score. Only nine innings of 26 guys trying really hard and mostly resembling the people at the beginning of an infomercial. But even when they're saying, there's gotta be a better way, after an inning with three errors and where they went in up by two and left down by three, we can't get too upset surrounded by our A's friends, who all understand and have their own family history with the team, who see loved ones who are no longer with them when they go to the Coliseum or root for the A's, who see several generations of connection and memories in the hope of more generations of fans to come, who have the same player memories and their own game experiences, and who, like you, have this group of guys in green and gold in the city that help make the culture of this team, fans, and stadium to think for these rich memories and these wonderful friends. So to me, as long as they're the Oakland A's, even if that may not be for much longer, I'll hold on to that stadium, those friends, those memories, those family connections, and the gleeful laugh when I imagine Cavill thinking he found a parking space only to see there's actually a motorcycle there. But for now, I'll keep hoping and savoring the time we have left and loving the friends I've made thanks to this team.